What's going on, YouTube world? <clears throat> no, not cards. I've got them. I just, there's no ambition to show them at all. So, um, I don't know when that's going to happen. It may not. It may not for a good while. I don't know. I really don't. Um, but I mean, there's stuff. And videos, too. It's a guy at that. And there's three stacks of probably about 60, 80 cards over there. But I just... Right now, the love's not there. But I did get... You know that bag? You know that? Um... <clears throat> logo. You know... Guy. Sorry, Colt. The face just got cut. I bladed you. <clears throat> I will show first, though. This will be an unboxing from a pro wrestling tease. I'm not Tim Mousy. I picked this up. For me, it's insane to see. I like Joey Gase. This is one of the guys I would have liked back in like the '90s as a Bobby Hill and um, Hot Strickland of that ilk. He's never got the, the the good equipment, so you never know the talent that's there. Landon Castle for a college racing this year showing. You put somebody that has been a middle of the pack, back of the pack driver in some top tier equipment um guess what you do better um so to see hopefully one day see him do something i'd like to because i think he does well at the super speedways he seems to be in the hunt but uh to get that i was super happy i you usually see the same handful of guys at the at a target at a at a walmart and a Harvick, a Logano, Kozlowski. I'm like, I don't want those guys. I don't care about them. So to get him, it's happy. Um, stopped in the Pine City Walmart. Yeah. And Tristan and I went to the game uh, last Tuesday. And shockingly, they had a couple figures I was looking for. So I picked up, didn't want to really spend the money, but uh, Dax Hardwood, and then Cash Wheeler, FTR, um, this isn't like, oh my god, I like them now, this is, I got their first NXT shirt, because I liked them that much, they reminded me then of an 80s tag team. They reminded me of the Brain Busters. They reminded me of Tully and Iron. Um, so to see them ditch WWE in that fucking... Again, Cody went back. That's fine. It's going to be on a case-by-case -case basis if these guys go back. I don't see him going back. I know they're interested in him, but at the same time, why the hell would you go back when you have shown you cannot fucking figure out how to um, give them a proper run? Plus, guess what? WWE does not care about tag teams. They they don't. They never. They haven't since probably what New Age Outlaws. So, and then when we went down for Elton John a couple weeks prior to that, went to the Mall of America, somewhere I don't want to go. Ma hadn't been there before, so Tristan and I and her went and uh, saw GameStop. I'm like, that was like, there's a Barnes & Noble we were going to stop at, so I wanted to check cards and just check uh, clearance books, and then uh, I'll go to the GameStop. So, they had this there. Five dollars more, I think, than what you pay at Walmart. So I'm like, why, why, why even bother taking the chance of somebody not packaging something right and then having it come mangled up 
the return and the hassle of returning and all. I'm, I'll just get it in hand as like, let's take up 25, 24 95 so $3, 3 or $4 more. And I had not seen it. I don't even know. I may have known he had one, but I just, I don't know what to get. Lance Archer. Um, what is it now? Murder Hawk Monster or something like that. But uh, I'm a huge fan of his. I love, obviously, the last name. That's that's one key, but I've met him, I think, twice now. Um, 20, 2014, I think, in a... Just outside of Bayfield, Ashland, at that legendary Rivers or whatever casino. Um, asked him about his dad's, or the name there, because I said, hey, my last name is Archer. And I think it was his dad's first name. First name or his last name. So he took that after the being um, Lance Hoyt in TNA and then Dallas when he came to WWE and was with Kid Cash, I think for a little bit in the absolute dying days of the ECW, like 08, 09 junk pile there. So to get those three happy, Guevara and uh, MJF are the two that I, I need, that I want. Um, other than that, I think there's a new Sting one, uh, W. Grimm 88. Wes, aka Dopey, I think he put a picture of something up on uh, Instagram, and I'm like, oh boy, I didn't know that was a thing, so that, uh, like, I need to get that, but here we are, these are on Pro Wrestling Tees, and again, they, when the guys go from Indies to WWE, usually you can't sell the stuff. So again, there there's a little, I think a little grace period or whatever. And I'm like, I think there was like 20, 30% off. I think 30. So I basically got these for the price. I think $10 less than what they would have cost before shipping. Total with shipping. So... Again, wrestling shirts, I, not like I'm going to find them around here, but Exorcism of Cody Rhodes. I've got the Money Shakes one already, which I found that one. Um, on the bottom, it's Rhodes, Daniels, Jackson, Jackson, the Bucks, Adam Page, Brandy Rhodes, Mar Marty Skrull, Flip Gordon, Kazarian, and Scorpio. So this was way back. The being the elite was just this wasn't uh the, the the transformation into like AEW in that time period. Um so to get that and this one I had hemmed and hawed before about it. And uh I'm happy I got it now. So the Saved by the Ring Bell, the old Zach Morris play on uh, Saved by the Bell. <sighs> Insanely happy with that. <laughs> I, I love that years ago when it came out, two, three, four years ago. And I, I didn't pick it up, should have. This one I had no idea even existed. And for me... Some of you guys out there might really enjoy this that don't give two shits about wrestling. Especially you guys that like rap from the late 90s, early 2000s. I saw this and immediately, I didn't even think of anything else and look at really much of anything besides what was on the, the print of his name and then behind him. To say that it reminded me of a No Limit or Cash Money um, CD cover would be a lie. I, that's the only thing I thought of. I said, man, it's got some Silk the Shocker, Sea Murder, Fiend, Mia X, Soldier Slim. Um, of course, Master P, Mystico. 
um, it's got that look. And of course, Wayne, BG, Big Timers. But I mean, that's just like, that's, just make sure I can, there. Yeah, I want to get it all in there so you guys can see this. Utter nonsense, but that's okay. I absolutely love that. That is just, I'd never seen this. And that's sort of the problem with these sites. I'm not a guy that I'm checking out everything all the time. I Even with the text message, you get like the alerts from some of these, like a T Republic. I, I picked up some shirts off there. And then like the pro wrestling tees, I, I get the, the notification. I've got the app, but I just don't check it. I see them and it's like, ah, I better go check this later. And I don't. So what do you do? So I've got more stuff. I'll, I, I don't know. It feels good to show that, but at the same time, I don't really care about a lot of the other stuff to show off. It just, card-wise, I'd rather show do the stuff from Naomi, do the IRP, which is every Tuesday night, 7.05 p.m. Central Standard Time on uh, the YouTube channel, The Insert Revolution, the same name, the podcast. Um, this past week, we talked with Brad, Brad8671. Talked about the NFL draft. I know. I wish more people jump over there for that. Ask questions. Um, it's it's a he's an amazing, a, a fr amazing person, be an amazing friend. In his cognitive ability, to retain a lot of this knowledge, because he like I loves watching the the co collegiate level sports. He's more so with football. I'll do football and basketball and then sort of keep an eye A on hockey and B on baseball. But again, you, it's the basketball and football. You do more draft nicking, as it were. Um, so to have him there, take some time out of his schedule. I know he's flipped, uh, flipped schedule, so he's got the early shift. Now he's running a 5-1, to one, which is what I use or what I've got, but I... I'm usually there at four because I'm stupid, but uh, it, it just was a good time. I wish I had my draft book. And what did I find today, Tristan? So it's not the one I had before. This is when I got, I think, last week. And uh, Trevor Penning, I think, was the. If you watch, if you go back, and put yourself. If you listen to Brad, good. Um, for me, I couldn't remember half these names. Um, Trevon Walker was one I I know he had picked up for me. Uh, Jermaine Johnson was another guy, a D end. Um, Tyler Lindba Linderbaum, that's the Iowa player I kept talking about at center. And then... Um, I know we talked about Kenyon Green, a guard from Texas A&M, that we, I, I think he had mentioned a guard, and that was it, so I want to sort of bookend some of these uh, players, and I'll do it next Tuesday, too, just to make sure we've, Trevor Penning is the, the tackle from uh, Northern Iowa that I thought of, too, and a, a guy like down the road, maybe Daniel Falele from the, the Big U, I didn't mention him, but. <clears throat> but yeah, to have not have this, it's usually, it's a good cheat for me. It's a good, hey, I don't have to write everything down. But um, tight ends, I kept saying there's mostly nothing you're looking for. But uh, Trey McBride was one I've seen mocked, uh, I think the Chargers in a couple different uh mocks so yeah it's it's gonna be fun john mechie was another receiver that was the one i kept i'm trying to think of the guy that got hurt near the end of the year and it wasn't well watson williams jameson williams so but mechie i keep on going back to tyrone pro throw that's all i could think of him like that was like a decade ago dave come on now but uh that's it rambling about 15 minutes, it's the Alan Hardy length video, so I got videos to show, I got DVDs to show, I got uh, 
tons of cards. I'll I'll show a couple. If you're stuck with me this long, good for you. It's just a, a hodgepodge of stuff. Um, the first handful is going to be off some auction sites. And the last few, I don't want to, but Insert Revolution. That's a parallel. That's the Tony Gwynn Artist Proof. Um, Gugliata. On Card Auto. Akeem Davis Gaithier. Cracked Ice. From App State. Uh, paint Patch to 50 of Kenny O'Brien. Uh, Ken, Ken Anderson. See, those are going stupid now, too. Because everything else is good. From Black Diamond, a patch of some sort. I don't even know what it is. It's a glove or just a patch. Doesn't even say anymore. Neil Lupperduck. Uh, Joey Sackett, but it's to 15. Two color. You can sort of see the white. And then uh, on card from Archives. Um, not the greatest of autos. I wish he would have signed sort of over his head, but sort of see off the jersey there the blue ink Lester Hazel it's got the sticker on the back I'll show a couple more and I, I don't know I'm just tired of people tired of cards but uh patch or triple threads to 10 Jason Morrow From Burbank, didn't really want to, but this is one I've looked at for years, and I just said, you know what, get it. If you can't get anything else, 6 of 25, the uh, Pacific Impressions, black and white. We've got a few different types of these. I've got one that doesn't have the encapsulation, so I don't know if somebody pulled it out or what, but um, I know it's on here somewhere. But where? It's stupid. Oh, oh Gypsy Queen, the mini jersey. And that's top corner, thirteen or twenty-five. I've got a handful, but that's one thing too. Is Pin down the JJs, get them done, and then our ultimate memorabilia to 30. I don't know, it still has the portion that you get the card in. I think it's 0001. Uh, activate Ashik Brodeur A Bear. It's up 30. You won't be able to see it. This is. Brutal. I mean, it's under the names there. Um, 25 of 30. So, to get that in, it helps. It helps to get a couple things, but man. <clears throat> I just, I don't know. There's still so much cancer in this fucking hobby. It just... So much, so many idiots. Show this one too because I like it. I'm happy I got it. See the Joey Geese there. But it's uh, Osgood, Hashik, Richter, and Broder. SPX Force. Paid way too much. You can go look on 130 point and see it. Not that long ago, I'm an idiot, but uh, the last one I needed, so I want to get it out of the way. I've got the the big one with Gretzky and Yager and Aginla, so you have two scores. We have a legend. You've got the the scoring guy, scoring leader. I think in a Yager, the rookie of the year, and Aginla, and then the I don't know if he's a resident of that year or not. Top one of the top goalies in Brodeur, and then there's the autograph version with thankfully just Brodeur on it. If it's a quad auto, I would not have a chance and they'll probably be numbered to 10 so um the broder is numbered 100 by itself and that was a a tough tough pill to swallow in that price but 
what are you gonna do you're gonna buy it you're a fool so chalked on another five minutes put it over the 20 minute mark again instant revolution podcast every tuesday night uh steve benny and i uh, just chat most of the time we got a topic a lot of times we just chat um whatever hope everyone's well hope your weather's better than mine more snow last night uh Monday, Tuesday, and next week, a low of 16 every, each day, so still making ice. That's what we need. Fishing opener's coming up. Got to make that ice. So take her easy, YouTube. She's easy. Mm-hmm. Take her twice.